If you finish the Great Race of 98 program and try this 99 overall Mark McGuire or maybe even used him in the new showdown, how is his swing? A couple of y'all in the comments were saying that this card has a better, a different swing than the athletics version, which I suck with. So do you like his swing if you've used him, whether you unlocked him in the card or used him in that showdown. I think what I'm gonna do once I finish these moments for the program is probably the showdown. I still need to do the team affinity showdowns as well. I got a lot of grinding, a lot of catching up to do. And we're starting with the moments. Already did the first one with Eric Davis. Now we got this one with Derek Jeter. Got to get two hits, one of them being an extra base hit. Some of y'all might know that Wendy's is my favorite fast food. Today, they replaced for a limited time their vanilla Frosty with a pumpkin spice Frosty. And uh, let me just tell you, I think that it... Yeah, I think that it smells better than it tastes. Honestly, I think they might be better off selling a candle that smelled like this. Next time I'm in the drive-thru, if they were selling a pumpkin spice candle, I'd probably buy the out of that. You know, it's not terrible. It's just a really artificial flavor. I'm probably going to eat the whole thing. I have a really, really big sweet tooth. If something has sugar in it, once I start eating, I really can't stop eating. But we got that moment done. On to the next one using Pedro Martinez two innings long and we need to strike out three batters in those two innings but if you're somebody who likes pumpkin flavored stuff i would highly recommend if y'all have a culver's by you i wish this was somehow sponsored or a hashtag ad but culver's their pumpkin spice shake just tastes exactly like pumpkin pie literally out of that blue straw it feels like i'm sucking up a homemade pumpkin pie and it's just amazing but i guess if you uh don't like pumpkin pie then you probably wouldn't really like that pumpkin spice milkshake oh no just so many times whenever i'm trying something that is supposed to be pumpkin flavored it always just ends up tasting artificial it really tastes like i'm drinking a candle and at that point like we said earlier i think i'd much rather buy a candle from wendy's that smells how this frosty smells than actually order and eat drink whatever you want to call it another frosty with that being said though once the vanilla one comes back, but then especially just any time with the chocolate frosty, I'm still dipping my fries in that frosty from there. It's so good. We got that moment done. Hit one home run with Sean Green. We unlocked this Rob Nen. I still really like this card art, and I'm actually really excited to finally get the 99 Big Mac that Mark McGuire. We got to get four total bases with Carlos Delgado. I would love to just go ahead and hit a home run like we did with Sean Green. I'm always a big fan of Sean Green's swing and MLB The Show. Carlos Delgado's another guy. I think maybe he had a chase card last year that was just quite a bit of fun to use. That Takashi Okazaki card art. Do y'all remember that? I wish they would bring back fan favorite cards from previous years of the show into the new games obviously i wouldn't want every single card to just be one that's already been in the game but it would be a lot of fun to have fan favorites maybe even every week you could bring back a card or two have fan voting i just think there's so much more and different and unique things they could be doing with the content i'm telling y'all this that we have right here is not the end all be all there's plenty of possibilities that they could be doing for sure there's another total base. I think I need to double, though. I think I still need two more. I'm happy, though. Woo! Never mind. I'm not happy. Do I get another at bat? No, that's the end of it. I mean, I hope it's a home run, but it's going to that 420 part. Hey, and it's still gone. That went into the tunnel. We got this Delgado moment done. I don't think there is as many of these great race of 98 moments as there was the player of the month, but it's still looking like there's a decent amount of them. Using Troy Percival, we just got to pitch one perfect inning, but I was saying I'm super happy that we finally have Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa, and honestly, every time we get a new legend, I love seeing new legends, but both Sammy Sosa... Mark McGuire were two guys that I've really been looking forward to for a long time. I think the only thing that would have made it better was maybe getting a Barry Bonds, Alex Rodriguez, Carlos Beltran. And if you're watching this video right now, let me know at least one legend in the comment section if you're up to it that you would like to see introduced as a new legend in MLB The Show 24. I think 
pretty much the guys I said. Another guy that I would love, top five, maybe even top three or two for me, would be an Ichiro card. Please get me Ichiro back in the game. Oh my goodness. I would absolutely love that. But Mark McGuire, I'm excited to use that 99 of them. And I'm hoping that we can get this great race program done pretty easily. I might look into collecting some of the cards from the packs to try to make it go a little bit faster for me. Since I'm not really feeling the grind as much here and I'm going to be the show, maybe I'll start using some of my stubs. They've just kind of been collecting dust up in the top left of my screen. Maybe it's time I actually start spending them on something. But I was also kind of just trying to build up stubs so I could make sure I'm able to do my sunday pack openings i would love to do those every single week using david justice we got to get two extra base hits oh that's one of them i really uh i really should do an all lefty team and bring him to fenway just try to pull the ball over that fence and we got the moment done and yeah david justice swing is still feeling pretty good and maybe there are more moments than i thought edgar martinez we have to get on base three times in one game Usually what I'll do the first few attempts is just kind of swing at everything like normal for moments for me And then if it's the on base ones Sometimes I might just watch until two strikes and the CPU might actually walk me pretty much give me a free on base No way Well one swing and we're already on base. I Think we should be on base twice Nah, he caught it is that a homer? So that's technically on base twice. Just got to do it one more time. And there we go. Little blooper in the left. We got on base three times with this Edgar Martinez. I'm actually now looking forward to the Big Mac moment to see how his swing feels. I'm looking to see how the uh, the Sammy Sosa feels. That, <laughs> that card sure is interesting. Brett Saberhagen now. One of everybody's favorite starting pitchers. We got to pitch three innings without giving up a run. And there's one scoreless inning, two to go. One, two. There's two scoreless innings. Buckle my shoe. I heard a little one-two in there. One and, two. and there we go. We got this Brett Saberhagen moment done. I'm kind of ready to just do only hitting moments. I'm in the Great Race of 98 program. Let's do some Great Race of 98 type home runs. Mike Piazza got to get two hits, one extra base hit. And something that I kind of wanted to bring up in this video since we've been talking about football, the NFL a little bit. I'm a Packers fan. Aaron Rodgers playing for the Jets tore his Achilles, man. Like, that's so tragic. And I don't know if anyone out there watching has seen the video, but there was kind of an angle of it from maybe behind one of the end zones where you can just literally see him tear his achilles and i don't even know like it's it's gut-wrenching it makes my skin crawl seeing it it's just i feel terrible for aaron Rodgers. we got that mike piazza moment done and now with jeff bagwell gotta get one hit driving in two runs but on the first drive i think maybe the fourth play for him with the jets having that happen season ending injury and what some people are talking about maybe even a career ending injury that's hard enough to come back from as it is the rehab process everything like that and you know being an older qb at his age it might be something he thinks about or something he ends up choosing will be to just retire and not playing the nfl again i will say though aaron Rodgers does not seem like the type of guy to me to just give up right just because of an injury i can really see him at least attempting to make a comeback we're getting that jeff bagwell moment done though but i would assume not just right away you know within a week be like oh yep that's it i'm gonna retire i think he's gonna get surgery do what it takes rehab and kind of just play it by ear see what happens see how it goes next moment we're using carry wood striking out six batters but we can't give up two hits there's one strikeout there's two and there's three. Hopefully we can strike out this side in the next inning too. There's four. We got five. And we got six. Striking out this side again. Is that Kerry Wood, 97 overall? Because he was feeling pretty good. I know it's just a moment, but usually I can't really locate, I think, even in moments with Kerry Wood cards. Jason Kendall, we got to get on base twice in one game. First pitch we get... 
And this CPU robs us. Not robbing us that time. I thought he might. We got to get on base one more time. Oh, that dropped. Okay. We got on base twice with Jason Kendall. His body and MLB The Show compared to his head, it always looks a little bit disproportionate on the little player model they have for him. Tally three hits with Larry Walker in one game. And maybe there are as many moments, if not more, than they have for the player of the month, or maybe about the same. There's one hit on the first pitch. There's two. And there is not three. Hit a little bit too hard. Oh, wait. We got it done. He hit a home run. Okay, sick. I think we should be getting kind of close. I just, I really want to try out the new Mark McGuire. I'm pretty sure there's a moment where we use him. Greg Vaughn. I think we just got him. I think he's who popped up. I was kind of paying attention to my brain, but we got to hit one home run with Greg Vaughn. I think that's got to go. 123 power. No, it's off the wall. We hit a home run. That was the fourth pitch of the at-bat, and none of them even touched the strike zone. On to the next moment, another pitching one, Rob Nen striking out three hitters. So a perfect inning while striking out the side. Okay, there's the first. We got the second, and we got the third. There we go. Rob Nen, I'm guessing that's the last pitching moment that we have. I want to say maybe all we have left is the Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire moments. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, Vlad Sr. He's got a moment in here too. And then we get to Sammy Sosa right after that. So tally one hit with Vlad Sr. The very first, the very second, the fourth pitch that we see and we get Vlad Sr.'s moment done. Mark McGuire looks kind of huge. Now we're on to the Sammy Sosa moment. We got to hit one home run with Sammy Sosa. I will say though, I'm loving Sammy's swing. His core card from the live series collections will be the Sammy Sosa that I'm using instead of this one, but I still love his swing. He's been one of my favorite cards to use this entire year. That's the very first attempt with that Sammy Sosa card and we got it done. And now we're using Mark McGuire. Oh, the last two are with Big Mac. So we got to hit one homer in this one, two homers on the final one. I'm excited to see his swing, his stance. I'm really hoping I like it better than the athletic stance that they have. We got to hit one homer. This is the moment of truth. And okay, it's, it's seeming pretty nice. I like the open stance just initially. The leg kick doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem too distracting. I want to see how that swing feels though too. Going the other way. Imagine this is not even a home run. <laughs> if he would have robbed it. Oh man. But very first attempt with Mark McGuire. We got it done. So Sammy's swing is still feeling good. At least on one swing. This Cardinals version is feeling better to me than the Athletics version. I want to pull a home run. I want to hit a no doubt animation type of home run and see how that's feeling. We got to hit two homers in one game. I think that might be the first homer. We'll see. Still haven't had a no doubt animation. Yeah, it's getting over the fence. And I'm kind of hoping we get to see the no doubt animation for the second homer of the game. Wow. Wow. Is that going into Big Mac land? I think it did. I really wish I could see a replay or see the distance or something, but we just got those moments done. And yeah, this Mark McGuire swing is feeling way better. I got to check to see how close I am. We finished the moments. I would say we got to be getting at least a little bit close, except I think this program goes all the way up to 150 points. But let's see where we're at. I'm at 42. So only 108 more points before I can use this Mark McGuire.